Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me today as we explore the fascinating life and career of James Cagney, one of Hollywood's most dynamic and versatile actors. Known for his tough guy persona, Cagney's talent and charisma made him a standout figure in the golden age of cinema. His journey from the streets of New York City to the heights of Hollywood stardom is a story of resilience, innovation, and enduring influence. Early life and beginnings, James Francis Cagney Jr. was born on July 17, 1899, in New York City. He grew up in the tough neighborhoods of Manhattan's Lower East Side, a setting that would later influence his on-screen persona. The second of seven children, Cagney's upbringing was marked by financial hardship. But it was also filled with a strong sense of family and community. Cagney attended Stuyvesant High School, where he excelled academically and athletically. His interest in performance began at an early age, and he often entertained friends and family with his impressions and dances. After high school, he attended Columbia College briefly but left to support his family following the death of his father. Cagney took on a variety of jobs, including working as a bellhop, a janitor, and a brokerage house runner, all while harboring dreams of a career in the arts, entry into entertainment. Cagney's entry into the entertainment world began with vaudeville and Broadway. His first break came in 1919 when he joined a chorus line as a dancer, eventually landing a role in the successful Broadway production, Penny Arcade. His performance caught the attention of Warner Brothers executives, leading to a contract that would change his life, rise to stardom. James Cagney's film debut came in 1930 with Sinner's Holiday, a film adaptation of Penny Arcade. However, it was his role in the 1931 film, The Public Enemy, that catapulted him to stardom. Cagney's portrayal of the ruthless gangster Tom Powers was both electrifying and groundbreaking. The famous scene where he shoves a grapefruit into May Clark's face became iconic and exemplified his ability to bring a raw, unpredictable energy to the screen. Throughout the 1930s, Cagney solidified his reputation as one of Hollywood's premier tough guys. Films such as Smart Money, 1931, Angels with Dirty Faces, 1938, and Each Dawn I Die, 1939, showcased his talent for playing complex, morally ambiguous characters. His dynamic performances and on-screen intensity made him a favorite among audiences and critics alike, versatility and breakthrough roles, while Cagney was often typecast as a gangster, he was determined to showcase his versatility as an actor. In 1938, he starred in Yankee Doodle Dandy, a biographical musical about George M. Cohan, the legendary entertainer. Cagney's portrayal of Cohan was a revelation, earning him an Academy Award for Best Actor. His energetic song and dance routines and heartfelt performance demonstrated his range and solidified his status as one of Hollywood's most talented actors. Battles with Warner Brothers, despite his success, Cagney's relationship with Warner Brothers was tumultuous. He frequently clashed with the studio over contract disputes and his desire for more creative control. In 1936, he even sued Warner Brothers over a breach of contract, a battle he won, which allowed him to gain more favorable terms and greater autonomy over his career. This victory was significant not only for Cagney but also for actors' rights in Hollywood, continued success and later career, James Cagney continued to deliver memorable performances throughout the 1940s and 1950s. Films like White Heat, 1949, where he played the psychopathic criminal Cody Jarrett, further cemented his legacy as one of cinema's greatest actors. The line made it, Ma. Top of the World, from White Heat, became one of the most famous in film history. In the 1950s, Cagney began to take on fewer roles, focusing more on his personal life and other interests. He explored new ventures, including producing films and investing in real estate. Cagney's final film role came in 1981 with Ragtime, directed by Milos Forman. His portrayal of the police commissioner marked a fitting end to a remarkable career, demonstrating that even in his later years, Cagney's talent and presence remained undiminished. Personal life and legacy, James Cagney's personal life was as vibrant as his on-screen career. He married Francis Willard Billy Vernon in 1922, and their marriage lasted until his death in 1986, a rarity in Hollywood. The couple had two adopted children, and they shared a close, loving relationship throughout their lives. Cagney was known for his humility, kindness, and dedication to his craft. Despite his tough guy image, those who knew him spoke of his generosity and loyalty. He was a mentor to many young actors and remained deeply connected to his Irish heritage and New York roots. Cagney's impact on the film industry is profound. 
He was a pioneer in bringing a new level of intensity and realism to acting, influencing generations of performers. His ability to seamlessly transition between genres, from crime dramas to musicals, showcased his versatility and set a standard for future actors, honors and recognition, James Cagney received numerous accolades throughout his career. In addition to his Academy Award for Yankee Doodle Dandy, he was honored with the AFI Life Achievement Award in 1974, recognizing his significant contributions to the film industry. In 1984, he received the Kennedy Center Honors, celebrating his influence on American culture through the arts. The Broader Cultural Impact of James Cagney James Cagney's impact on the cultural landscape transcended his roles in film. He became a symbol of the American spirit, embodying qualities such as resilience, determination, and an indomitable will to succeed. His portrayals of complex characters who often rose above their circumstances resonated with audiences during the Great Depression and World War II, offering a sense of hope and empowerment. Cagney's ability to bring depth to characters who could easily be one-dimensional villains or caricatures set a new standard for acting in Hollywood. He gave his characters humanity, making them relatable even when they were on the wrong side of the law. This complexity allowed audiences to see beyond the surface and understand the motivations and struggles of his characters, fostering empathy and a deeper connection to the stories being told. Innovation in acting techniques, James Cagney was not just an actor but a pioneer in his approach to performance. He brought a naturalistic style to his roles at a time when acting in film was often more theatrical. His commitment to realism and his ability to convey a wide range of emotions with subtlety and precision influenced the evolution of film acting. Cagney's meticulous preparation and dedication to his craft were evident in every role he took on. He was known for his physicality, often performing his own stunts and dance routines, which added authenticity and dynamism to his performances. His work ethic and attention to detail set a high bar for professionalism in the industry, mentorship and influence. Beyond his on-screen achievements, Cagney played a significant role as a mentor and advocate within the film community. He was instrumental in supporting and nurturing young talent, offering guidance and encouragement to aspiring actors. His willingness to share his knowledge and experience helped shape the careers of many performers who followed him. Cagney's influence extended to his peers as well. Actors such as Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, and Jack Nicholson have cited Cagney as an inspiration, praising his ability to convey intensity and emotion with authenticity. His legacy as a trailblazer in the art of acting continues to inspire and inform the work of actors today. Advocacy for actors' rights, James Cagney was a staunch advocate for actors' rights and fair treatment in the industry. His legal battles with Warner Brothers over contract disputes were significant in the fight for better working conditions and compensation for actors. His victories set important precedents that benefited not only his contemporaries but also future generations of performers. Cagney's advocacy extended beyond his own career. He was actively involved in the Screen Actors Guild, SAG, serving as its president from 1942 to 1944. During his tenure, he worked to improve wages, working conditions, and healthcare benefits for actors, leaving a lasting impact on the industry's labor standards, personal life, and legacy. Despite his larger-than-life presence on screen, James Cagney was known for his humility and grounded nature. He remained deeply connected to his family and friends, often retreating to his farm in Martha's Vineyard to escape the pressures of Hollywood. Cagney's love for farming and his appreciation for the simple pleasures of life reflected his down-to-earth personality. In his later years, Cagney focused on his family, hobbies, and philanthropic efforts. He continued to be a beloved figure in the entertainment industry, respected for his contributions and admired for his integrity and character. His autobiography, Cagney by Cagney, published in 1976, offers a candid and insightful look into his life and career, providing fans and scholars with a deeper understanding of the man behind the legend. Honors and Tributes, James Cagney's contributions to cinema have been honored in numerous ways. In addition to the awards and accolades he received during his lifetime, his legacy has been celebrated through retrospectives, documentaries, and special screenings of his films. The American Film Institute, AFI, listed him as the eighth greatest male star of classic American cinema, recognizing his enduring impact on the art of filmmaking. Cagney's influence is also evident in the lasting popularity of his films. Classics like The Public Enemy, Angels with Dirty Faces, and Yankee Doodle Dandy continue to be studied and appreciated by film enthusiasts, historians, and new generations of viewers. His performances remain a benchmark for excellence in acting, 
inspiring continued admiration and respect, conclusion, celebrating a legend, as we reflect on the life and career of James Cagney, we celebrate a man whose talent, dedication, and passion for his craft left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. From his humble beginnings in New York City to his rise as one of Hollywood's greatest stars, Cagney's journey is a testament to the power of perseverance, creativity, and integrity. James Cagney's legacy is not only preserved in his unforgettable performances but also in the values he championed and the lives he touched. His story is an enduring source of inspiration, reminding us of the transformative power of art and the importance of staying true to oneself. Thank you for joining me in this tribute to the remarkable life and legacy of James Cagney, a true icon of cinema whose spirit and influence continue to shine brightly. Honors and tributes, James Cagney's contributions to cinema have been honored in numerous ways. In addition to the awards and accolades he received during his lifetime, his legacy has been celebrated through retrospectives, documentaries, and special screenings of his films. The American Film Institute, AFI, listed him as the eighth greatest male star of classic American cinema, recognizing his enduring impact on the art of filmmaking, Cagney's influence is also evident in the lasting popularity of his films. Classics like The Public Enemy 